my name is Jessica. I'm from the South Shore of Nova Scotia, and I um, I work in a bank. I have a lovely little four-year-old girl and a great energetic little dog, and I also teach piano lessons on the side of my job. Well, um, nobody really prepares you for things like postpartum anxiety, so that was a, a giant curveball that came my way after she was born. Um, but she's she's an energetic, talkative, hilariously funny little person. Yeah. Thankfully, I had a great and have a great support system. My family is close by. We live in the same little community. So um, with my husband working shift work and night shifts and whatnot, my mom was able to be here a lot to help me, which was really good. Um, but things like, you know, breastfeeding that not everybody can do. Um, I wasn't successful at that. And that really, really upset me. So I worried a lot about, was she getting enough to eat? Uh, was she sleeping enough? Was she sleeping too much? Was something wrong? Uh, the first night that she slept through the night, I literally stared at her uh, most of the night. <clears throat> and one night my father actually came over and promised me that he would stay awake and look at her while I got some sleep. So a lot of irrational things go through your mind that you wouldn't think you just wouldn't think of um, before this. So I, I would just worry about everything, which was a surprise to me. I didn't realize I was that anxious and I wasn't before, but uh, the hormones and the postpartum segment of your life can really change a lot of things. Um, my mom actually, recognized it probably before I did myself I just thought I was really tired um, that I wasn't adjusting well and she sat me down and she said Jesse you just you just need a little bit of help right now and that's okay so I would suggest if you see <clears throat> see changes in a friend of yours just after having a baby just to gently let them know that you are there for them and that you're willing to help. I mean, even if you want to come over and hold the baby for an hour or just give them someone to talk to. Um, my biggest thing was I was very afraid to be alone with her. I was scared that I was going to, to fall asleep and she would need me or that I would drop her or that I was just essentially doing everything wrong. So just even being there and offering a hand is just a huge, huge help. But between myself, my parents, my husband, um, and just other moms, um, they helped me kind of hold it together. And just even coming over for a coffee, or something like that that would that had really helped things like that um, I have heard about things like um, the better together family resource center <clears throat> but it was it was kind of hard for me to get around to things like that uh, just after she was born that was the awful awful winter that we had in 2014 and 2015 so um, wasn't a great <laughs> great winter to have a baby with feeding issues that would only sleep in the car because it wasn't a lot of great weather for driving. Um, but, honestly, uh, she's four years old, and I would say that I'm just getting it under control within the last year or so. It's been a, it's been a difficult road, and I think, you know, probably most of my life I had anxious tendencies and whatnot, but when you put someone else, someone other than yourself into the mix, and you're responsible for this entire little person, um, for me anyways it got it got much worse so i did uh see a doctor i went on what's it called zoloft i was put on but i could only handle it for about three days it, i'm very sensitive to medications so <clears throat> even the lowest dose was not uh it was not good for me i was having pretty much every side effect on the list so i turned to a naturopathic doctor um who's just fabulous and she works with Cornerstone Naturopathic out of Cantalan. Her name's 
Dr. Ashley Margison. So she has helped me with various supplements and changing my diet. And she's just been a lifesaver. And I've had some uh, talk therapy through my work coverage as well. And that was really helpful. Yeah. So, I mean, it's different for everybody, I'm sure. But um, I talked with a naturopath because um, the counselor that I spoke through spoke with through my work benefits actually recommended seeing a naturopath because my counselor himself had had um, what was called candida, like um, kind of a an infection of some sort in your digestive tract. <clears throat> so he had recommended talking to a naturopath and I somehow became connected with um, well, my massage therapist recommended this Dr. Markison. So I got in touch with her. Um, what she suggested doing was an elimination diet to just kind of cut everything out, but a couple of foods, raw vegetables and that sort of thing out of your diet for a number of weeks. And then you slowly introduce other things back into your diet. So we discovered that I have a gluten intolerance. So cutting that out has been huge for my anxiety. And she also recommended things like a magnesium supplement. A lot of women, especially after childbirth, I guess, have um, magnesium levels that tend to, to drop. And magnesium is a big player in helping depression and anxiety. So I take magnesium and like a B-complex vitamin and molasses blackstrap organic molasses for iron so there were, there were several things that she was able to recommend that helped it's definitely and i'm sure every mom can say this is definitely not as easy as i thought it would be um <laughs> you see a lot of you know of course media and even even my friends with kids like yeah you see them have a tantrum once in a while but for the most part like you don't see what it's really like but I absolutely love her and I wouldn't trade her for the world, but I was slightly underprepared. I think like, making sure for one that your diet is in good shape, that you're eating the proper things. Like I, while I was pregnant and really before, I didn't eat a lot of processed foods or anything like that. So what you put into your body is its fuel. So putting the right things into your body is going to help you be better physically prepared and your, you know, your mental health is really strongly linked to your gut too. So I would say make sure that you're getting as much sleep as you can beforehand and eating the right things and that you have as much of a support system in place that you can.